Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with me, Oksfu, and before I get off track and start rambling on about I don't know what, um, well before I do all that, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's recap. Uh, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with me, Oksfu, and last time we did stuff. What did we do? Uh, last time we finished up the boss ba the boss for the last dungeon, the dancing dancing dragon dungeon, and we did some other stuff like we went to the shop in Horon Village and found out that we have a members card. Oh my god, a members card! And for some reason, I'm going this way. Why am I going this way? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do the things I know about right now. Which, we want to go here. First of all, pick up some Pegasus Seeds. Although, I think he completely refilled our bag when we went into that back, back, back room with the membership card. And we got um, extra seeds. We got a bigger seed satchel. Well, today, what we're doing is we're coming back into Spool Swamp, and we're setting it to spring, and you will see why in just a second. And I'm gonna take a breath, because <laughs> I should do that more often b before I try explaining things. Now, as you'll remember, there was a certain little something a little bit down here that we could not get earlier. A little... Oh, hello, Currents. A little piece of heart that we could not yet receive. But now that it's spring, all those vines have gone, and we now have three out of our four heart pieces for this con container. And you know what? Just for the heck of it, just because I'm here, I'm gonna dig up this one solitary patch of ground, but I can't. Damn it! Damn it, Janet! No. That's annoying. Oh well. Um, I don't think there's anything else we want to do in here. Because <sighs> I cannot fight that current. Okay. Enough of that. Let's go to... Hmm. Let's go back here for a second, because I'm not entirely sure what we need to do next. I have a pretty good idea, but I'm not entirely sure. There are a few things that we can do. Actually, you know what? I have a good idea about what we are going to do. Not what we can do. Now, if you'll remember this place, you better, because this was the absolute first place that we went in the game. <laughs> For the Hero's Cave. Um... um Aha! Here it is. Oh, I guess not. Uh, there is something down here. I can't remember where it is. Oh, it's to the right. And it's useful because we now have... Well, if I can get it to set to the right thing, we now have the slingshot to be able to do a little puzzle. What is this over here? What is this... What is this... This, this basin over here? Well, you see, it is a flame thing. <laughs> the Black Beast rests here. Hmm. Black Beast. All I see is a question mark. I bet we don't have anything that looks like a question mark. Oh, I guess we do. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Takes four hits. And we got the X-shaped jewel! We're that much closer to opening the Tamil Ruins! We have just one more jewel to get! And then we can explore ruins, and then the captain will think we're awesome! Because we will be. I'm running out of commentary steam, man. Because I've been going at this for like five days. I've been going at this for like almost a... Let's pull up the video screen so I can tell that I'm not losing frames. I've been going at this for over an hour now. But I really want to record. 
Yeah, we'll plant a Gasha Seed. We, got, <laughs> we still got a Gasha Seed, we got a Collect, I think. Well... Can't go there yet. But, you know... Eyeglass Lake! Hmm, I wonder if there's something up here that we need to know about. There is, but we can't get it yet. So I'm going to go down here, actually. Now that we have the flippers, we can go tons of places. Alright, now where is that treasure? It seems that it's down here. So let's go down there. Hmm. This looks like a neat place to hide a treasure, doesn't it? Alright, what do you have to say to us? Soil, time, sun, rain, walk. I await one who knows many essences. Cheapskate? Damn it! So we can't get that last treasure until we get all eight essences. The hell, man. The hell. Now, I don't think that's very fair. But... What are we gonna do? Call call the old man police on him? I don't very much think so. What we are gonna do is we're not going to keep running between screens because that would be stupid and it would waste people's time and people would get angry. Except not really, because people don't really get that angry at Let's Players. What we are gonna do is we're gonna come this way. Because, as you can see, there is a gap that we can now cross with Brock's feather. Oh my god. It's so cool. Oh, and what's this? A... It's a piranha! No, of course not. There are no piranhas in Africa. This is Rock Mushroom's Petri Fungus. Pick and fall only. Huh, so... I wonder, I wonder what that means. Does that mean we're gonna get... Fall? Finally? What's down here? Looks like a furnace of some type. Well, let's find out. Everyone went to go gather rocks at the Temple of North. There are no size rocks near the Temple of No. Melt it down! These furnaces can melt any metal! Melt it down, smelt it down, melt it, melt it, melt it down. Right now, I'm melting and mixing two kinds of ore. Hmm. Wasn't there something someone was saying about mixing two types of ore a little earlier? Well, anyway, now that we're in Sabrosia, I'm going to equip the Green Joy Ring so I can show you guys double ore chunks. So each ch ore chunk that we collect now will be twice, well, twice as worth, worth twice as much as we it did before. Whoa, man, that's a lot of signs. Wonder what that's for. This guy is actually one of the more interesting characters in this game, just because I don't think they've ever done another character like him. Simply divine, impeccably fine, gorgeous design, nobly kind, signs. Have you broken any signs? Of course not. Who could? They're so lovely. You and I see eye to eye. So basically, this guy actually keeps track of it at how many signs you, you destroy during the game. And up until this point, I could have destroyed signs just for the hell of it. I chose not to, because I want to show you these, this guy. I believe the way you can destroy signs is actually to pick them up, cut them down with a spin attack, or I think you can burn them with ember seeds as well. But there's no real reason except to piss that guy off in this game. So we will go back and I will destroy a few signs just to show that you what happens. Do we have to... Furnaces? Okay, did we go this way? Uh, no, we haven't been this way, have we? Aha! Uh -huh. That's why. Because we couldn't get this way. Well, we still can't get this way because we need 
some sort of item for that. But, 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 we can go south, so... Why not? Why not? Why not go south? Alright, so this is actually... Another one of those little digging puzzles in Subrosia, where we have to find, I believe it's blue and red ore. But I can't remember, ow, what they'll do for us because of that. This is actually probably where we're going to feed or meet our first enemy in Subrosia, too. Now, there's not a lot of enemies in Subrosia, at least not yet. There's mostly these guys, and they're not really that big of a deal, you just m need to make sure you dodge their fireballs. Just go up to them, hit them a few times, again, dodge the fireballs, and you're all set. However, I will continue this guy next time, guys, on Let's Play Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons with Mio Xfu, as we continue the search in Zabrosia for the blue and red ores, and drop more in the lavas of Subrosia. On Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons, although I think I already said that. God damn it, stop falling in. Oh gosh. Well, there goes my shoveling. Um, it's this way. Aha, that's actually what we need to get. Let's grab it quick. Wait a minute, do we actually have to... Oh, you get a bomb flower, handle it with care. Oh. There we go. Um... Yeah, we'll find out what that is for next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons, with Mio Fu. Take it easy, guys.